Behind the scenes of High Rise, how's everyone doing? Doing great, bro. Better than I deserve. <laughs> <laughs> John Robert Quinn here. Matt Literal. Steve Fear. And if any of you guys um, have been following any of us, it's what's funny is is uh, Steve, shit. Almost a decade ago, he was on the the Good Life radio shows way back when. <laughs> yeah. Matt and I have been doing talking shit and filming the movies, and then Fear came into the second movie, and we just said, you know what, fuck it, we should probably do an entire podcast on everything that's happening within the yeah. whole high rise universe, behind the scenes per se. Yeah. Yeah. And Matt so. keeps coming up with all these crazy ideas, so yeah. we're just going to keep going with it. <laughs> we're building the enterprise. We're building a saga. We're building something. Here's here's the thing. Down. You know, when I talk I, exactly, I talk to people, you know, we're still on the indie level, the small, super small level. Yes. Okay. For and now. for now. <laughs> well, here's the thing though is, you know, I've been writing music for 25 years. Mm -hmm. You know, there's indie artists everywhere, right? Indie artists, they write a song. The song's never been heard before, but it, you know, it, it it's out there. Right. And then you have the book, the indie book writers, right? Yeah. Indie authors that write books that never get read, and right. and then they disappear. And then you have the indie filmmakers. We're building a fucking indie franchise. Right. We've got the books, the <laughs> music. Gotta... <laughs> you know, I write the music for the fucking films. I write the books for the films. We Matt and I write the stories for the films. Matt produces and directs. I produce and direct. He's out there with a fucking drone filming. I'm with the handheld filming. Steve's fucking playing the actor. You know, we're both editing. Or it, both it's, creating it's, stuff for our kids to watch. It's it, authentic, forever. even though it's like off the cuff, like improv but it's genuine and it's yeah. us it's not like someone telling us what to do we're just doing it and it's it's coming together way better than i imagined it was just something to laugh at before and now it's like you know what i'm i'm actually really looking forward to taking this day off my stupid other work to do this right no Same it's, here. It's, like, it's it's a blast I love it. no it really is a blast and it's funny because people go so what are you guys working on these days we're filmmakers what where yeah. the fuck did that come from yeah, yeah. Now well, I have people asking me, what are you filming now instead? Yeah. Like, that yeah. question evolved after we had the premiere. Yeah. Well, yes, I exactly. had at least 10 people come up and say, "What? I need the links to your movies because they heard about it from other people. The first movie started, uh, a lot of people don't know the story of the first movie. Matt and I, we were sitting at the restaurant uh, at, at Pizzeria Classico. If you guys aren't aware, this is where we shoot a lot of the scenes for the movies. Um, you know, we're sitting there having lunch one day and he goes, you know, we should make a mobster movie. And we're like fuck okay we make youtube videos why not let's let's do a yeah. mobster movie and then i'm start... thinking like a 10 minute movie you know just me and you and like maybe someone else <laughs> the first thing friends. i do is i start Surprise. taking classes trying to figure out how to fucking make movies i start taking online classes and then we start hiring actors and then i'm buying plane tickets flying to the east coast yeah and... I mean, we had scud who was ox from saved by the bell yeah he uh yeah he, he was in saved mm -hmm. by the bell troy froman yeah um, he's in the first one we had charles d clark from empire yeah okay yeah we had chad ayers from the movie striptease with demi moore yeah and then we had jesse bell from atl homicide that was our that was our fucking all-star cast in the first movie. right that set the precedence for the are the, yeah. the precedence the, yeah yes for the saga it's like it really did. It, it carried. You know. it, it carried everything, you know. And then Frank Verney, Frank Verney plays plays Franco Bellavia. Here's yeah. what's funny Frank. about that. Maybe you guys know or don't know about Franco Bellavia and what that comes from. Uh -uh. Frank Verney. Tell us. So Frank Verney's from New York. Okay, uh -huh. he, he's from uh, Brooklyn, I think. Okay, and he was in a band in his late teens, early twenties. Oh. And his stage name in his band was Franco Bellavia. Oh, yeah. I remember he told me, like, when we first filmed, yes. when I first met him. And I was like, what do you want to be called in a movie? He's like, why don't we just use my stage name from when I was a kid? <laughs> right. The guy's fucking 60-something yeah. years old now. You yeah. know? So 50 years later, 45 years later, he's pulling out the stage name again, which yeah. I think is fucking awesome. Stage yeah. name. You know, I was in a band in fifth grade. They kicked me out of it because I couldn't play the bass, but it was called Bastards. Nuisance. 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 Not like I still hold a grudge, you know. <laughs> right. Are but they I'm, I'm just saying is that was a the band. Thing? Or is that over? No. Did they solve the band? It was 20 years ago. 
great. Well, yeah, I'm only 27, so. <laughs> you're right? fucking you're Christ, you know? you're 27. <laughs> Join that shit. So, <laughs> Run that. Well, here's another, here's another really neat piece of trivia for this. So Fear, Steve Fear, plays the character named Fear in the movie. Yeah. And then we had Steve Rath, who played the character Rath in the movie. Right. How cool is and that? And then we had <laughs> Mac Lewis, who played the character Mac in the movie. Yeah, John Robert so, Quinn plays John Robert yeah. Quinn. And, and I happened. play Mateo. And you play fucking yeah. Matt plays Mateo. And I'm a psychotic killer. I love killing people. Right. In the movie. In the movie. He has yeah. stuff with in that. The he he the can't movie. stop I'm smiling. Like He's Miley such Lewis. a good killer. Okay, yeah. okay. Like, oh, all right, so um, it got, it's so funny because I was going to go somewhere else with this whole thing, but... Um, Go with the uh, flow. Yeah, well, uh, let me go back real quick. So, yeah. Steve here. So, we're, now we're building the spinoff, Kings yeah. of Doom. Yes. And S- Steve, yeah. Steve comes from the Greek word Stephanos, which means right. king or crown. Yeah. Yep. And then fear, which is doom. So, Kings of Doom is just Steve of fear. <laughs> I love it how nothing is random with Quinn. Like, I'll be like, oh, that sounds cool. And I'll be like, well, it's because I researched your name. And yeah, that's why it sounds cool. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> right? And I'm a saint, apparently, in a lot of books. And John Robert Quinn is not saint my Matthew. real name, which is fine. But D- does the audience even know the story behind John Robert Quinn, where it came from? No. We've told we've it never... once, I think, in one of the first so my podcasts na- of Talking Shit. Or I think it's on IMDb, but my name is Robert Jones. So John comes from Jones. Robert yeah. is my first name, and Quinn's my mom's maiden name. So it's just John, John Robert Quinn. And then when I came up with that stage uh-huh. name, I was 17 years old. My, my uh-huh. mom goes, you know that like your great, great, great grandfather's name was John Robert Quinn? I was like, no fucking way. I'm going yeah. to so, honor him the best I oh, can. Oh, yeah. I had no right? idea who the guy is. I have no clue. I have no clue. <laughs> Never met He's that. proud. That's all well, we need to know. Great, great, great grandfather. I mean, I'm and not fucking 90 years old. My great, great grandfather was actually in the mafia and... Uh, Chicago. <laughs> you went to fucking yeah. New Jersey to that wedding and they thought yeah, you were they in, thought the I was in the mob. <laughs> and I went to a wedding. Say, hey, j- just refill the hors d'oeuvres. That's yeah, all, all I want. The, all the staff that was union. Yeah. They're like, are you part of the mob? They asked me. <laughs> I get it all they're the like, time. They're like, we got dude. the fourth largest mafia over there. Oh, yeah. It's still a thing over there. Dude. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's not gone. Well, they I've got the motorcycle see, business they, and I'm delivering fucking motorcycle gear out of the trunk of my car in a suit. <laughs> and you know, I drive a big ass Mercedes. You know, people are like, and then this I flip watches. Truck? I buy it like yeah, watches. Yeah, we fuck. To, we have the watch business. Because yeah. <laughs> we like watches. We just buy them. And then we're like, oh, I'm going to sell this one and get another one. As long as you're not selling them from a guy with a trench coat and he has all <laughs> right? the watches. That's like, right. hey, which one do you want? Like, dude, you know, we just need trench coats. This and then one, that one. We're both like wearing flip flops. And like, until oh, a year ago, man. he was wearing his hat backwards with me. <laughs> like, we were wearing flip flops and we're like, it's too, yeah. hot, too hot for a trench coat. Yeah. I it turned really 40 is. and I went. No more backwards hat. You know, man. I I totally my eyes widened and I looked. Uh, I was surprised because even when he'd like video himself getting a haircut, he'd still have a hat on uh-huh. and be like, yeah. "Oh, it was uh-huh. a good job." And that uh-huh. was just a funny thing, the uh-huh. Quinn style. Uh-huh. And yeah. uh, wow, I'm actually. Uh, when I turned forty, I said, "Okay, no more." If you notice, I don't wear holes in my pants anymore either. No hmm. more, no more ripped jeans. No. Only on Sundays. No more ripped jeans. Holy, holy pants. Sunday. My yeah. holy, my holy. Oh, I like it. Right. I like yeah. literally. No, <laughs> because I'm usually, a literal. No, I wear my whole. You're, I wear my. Kind of I wear my Sunday socks. Sunday. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I don't well, know I did, what to uh, say about that. So, uh, first movie. The first movie. We've got the Vernici mm. and the Bullieri cartel. Vernici comes from Frank Verney. Uh, yep. Bullieri just pulled out of my ass. Um, <laughs> it's I googled, a Bullieri. <laughs> it's oh. in the bowl. Yeah. So no, I I, I googled <laughs> I googled for each and Bullieri. Nothing came up uh-huh. online. So I said, okay, yeah. we're gonna build. We're gonna make those. So right. we created the two cartels, the left and the right. Basically, you've got the East Coast and the West Coast. Yeah. Both Italian cartels, but. Everything in the movies is very loose. Yeah. Um, we're not heavy dialogue. The first movie was pretty heavy dialogue because it was total improv, but we didn't know where we were going with things. But the second movie, the third movie, and the fourth movie are very light on dialogue. And what that does is it allows us, allows you to use your imagination, allows us room to grow and move with the story without telling you everything. So we can actually go places and do things where you might have thought this, but we never said it. Right. Matt likes stories, likes movies where there is dialogue, but at the same time, he he says I need to tell the story better. But at the same time, I want to be so vague that you're getting a story and you're but formulating not, an idea in your head. I'm saying I, the little details, like opening, showing the door oh, yeah, handle yeah, 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 yeah. and the door opening, and yeah. then the guy's face, like just a few more touches. 
I totally support that because my imagination is by far crazier than any type dialogue that they're controlling the narrative. So I like to think up, oh, this is hinted towards this, but maybe it's that. Like, I, I love that because I and always can, think of dark outcomes or yeah, any of that. And we can, and in practice. the next movie, we can come back and we can say, okay, well, that never happened. Your idea was wrong because we never said it happened. It gives us room right. to move somewhere else. Right. Absolutely. And also it allows us to create these beautiful, like today we created this beautiful scene, three and a half minute scene for the fourth film. Yeah. And there's mm. one That's... sentence <laughs> in it. Right. In a three and a half minute scene, yeah. yet <clears throat> the story is being told in this beautiful moment. Yeah. And the scene is, is fear breaking out of prison, which here's the funny thing about this whole thing is in the second movie, we have a quick glimpse of fear going to prison. And then the next scene is him on his motorcycle riding through the desert. That's it. So as in the, as when we launched the, the the King of Doom, which is the spinoff, basically what it is is it's the motorcycle gang's version of what's happening from the movies in the perspective of the motorcycle gang. Right. So what happened in between those scenes, and that's what we were shooting today, which we're going to carry some of this over into the fourth film. Hmm. But that whole sequence is going to be used in part four right. or or episode four of the Kings of Doom series. Which is a, a which is a uh, we're taking basically what we're doing is we're taking a scene from the movie, and then we build an entire storyline from that right. scene as to what happened before and after that scene from the movie, and that becomes then the episode for Kings of Doom. Right, I love it, and yeah, the audience it. gets to experience what it's like. For from, fear. from from fear's perspective, yeah. absolutely, what it's like for him, and again, Not the Kings the of Doom, which is, again is really neat because Kings of Doom is basically just Steve Fear. <laughs> right, <laughs> I keep bumping the mic. Fucking, right. fucking, uh, what was fucking it? mics. Yeah, fucking. Mm. I hate that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Mike. Uh, fucking Mike. Yeah, fucking. If you see Mike tell him, yeah, fuck you. the fucking Rafone family. Yeah, Rafone. fucking Mike Rafone. Rafone <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers. Oh, I can't. You, you're all just too much. <laughs> all oh just my too god. Much. So, how do you feel about your character fear? You, <clears throat> we are. We're all just who we are. I mean, it, it, it is. Cool. It's we're all who it we are. Cool. But it's just I'm trying to play some badass killer guy, and in a couple of the verbal scenes, it's like. Still, it's like I'm laughing, or it's like right. I, because like, it's I like can't I'm, believe uh, I'm doing this. <laughs> where it just, I, I, I'm really trying like, to work can on I really sounding say that? more <laughs> genuine <laughs> or more right. authentic. And right. it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna kill someone. Well, yeah. take it out. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I need you to kill that guy. You know, I take mean, him out tomorrow. <laughs> I like it. We're, we're doing what we're doing, and yeah. it's only gonna get better. Yeah, and, and it's really yeah, it's better. just an improv, and we're doing it. You know, what I mean? ain't no one telling us what to do. Teaching ourselves. Yeah. Oh, we're learning we're as we teachers. go. 100% yeah. we're learning as we go. And we're fucking good. I'm for hella surprised. Way better than how, <laughs> 90% of the shit I see for short And the films. funny thing about it is it sounds like arrogance, but who gives a shit? Because I don't see anybody else fucking building movie Sagas. franchises. Yeah. Right. Like a fucking movie franchise with the movies, yeah. the books, the music, the whole goddamn package. We're even doing our own fucking premieres. And here's the, the, the fucking kicker in this thing. Yeah. We've got fucking awesome cars. When you look well, at an indie film, they don't have the fucking cars. We have they we, we've barely had, have a car. We've had fucking it's cop like cars. One room we've in had their fucking house. motorcycles. In the second film, we had your bike. In the third film, we had two hundred fucking motorcycles. Right. You know, this next movie, we're stealing a million dollar car. Well, it's a three million dollar car in the movie, but that car's a million and a half fucking dollars in real life. Yeah, and we've we had got a, we've had Austin three Martins, million. We've we've had Mercedes. Aston Martins. We're, it, yeah. we've had I don't know fucking five different Mercedes Corvettes, products now. Like the dude. fucking ZR1 Corvette. Let me just borrow yeah. this for the afternoon. All right, take right. a picture and I'll give it back. Yeah, but right. I mean now people are donating fucking cars to us. We've got we yeah. in the fourth film. I've got friends in Dubai that are flying cars out to Car Week that said that we can use their cars. <laughs> I talked to the fucking owner of Spiker. And yeah. said, yeah, sure, no problem. You can use some of our cars. The fucking owner of the car company said that we can use some yeah. of their shit for the films. I got some yeah. amazing connections. And yeah. and we haven't even said it yet. Who's our fucking lead in the fourth movie? It's the Soprano. Fucking Joey Arganescoli, who played Vito in the fucking Sopranos, is our lead in the fourth film. Right. Yeah. It's it's We're No one's fucking doing this. Yeah, no one's doing this shit. 
Well, I mean, it's going to make us up our game by you know, just everything we do is going to be that much more like, hey, d- is this sound? No, 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 this is more uh, aesthetically pleasing. What do you right. think about it? You know, I'm I'm yeah. into uh, I'm into taking criticism with anything that I could do. You know, I used to not be able to handle that as much, and it's like, no, what's more effective? What's better? Oh, okay. We were shooting a scene and, today, and I was like, oh, I fucking love it. And Matt goes, well, what if, what if we shot it this way? And I'm like, uh, I don't totally. know. Let's try it. And he fucking right out of the ballpark, dude. I ended up throwing the scene that I shot away. We used all of his scenes. Fucking amazing. Absolutely yep. fucking amazing. The first take. But we're good together. Like, fucking I've been amazing. working on that scene in my head for ever since Two we months. talked about it. Two I'm months. Like, I saw it. I'm like, yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. So, so part one, you have um, High Rise Path to Nowhere, it's the first movie, and you've got the Vernici and the Bellieri cartel, and they're being chased by um, a bunch of different cops. You've got uh, the, the, the Atlanta cops, and then you've got the LA cops, and they're trying to come down, and there's a dirty cop, and you can watch the movie to get this story. The heist is about a $100,000 cocaine deal. Okay, yeah. the second movie is High Rise Two, uh, Nowhere to Run. That's where yeah. Fear comes in. It's a biker gang working with the Vernici cartel. Bollieri's never even mentioned in the second movie. Uh, it's very short. It's only fifteen minutes. We didn't know whether we were even going to do another movie. We did it. Um, I think it flows yeah. really, really nicely. We cut quite a bit out of it, but I think it flows really, really nicely, and it leaves a lot to the imagination. It does. Uh, there's only three or four parts where there's dialogue in the entire film, and yet it does doesn't feel like it's missing anything no and it goes by and yeah it, like it's great it's it's excellent minutes. yeah it feels- it, and it goes by very very quickly for 15 minutes i mean that's that's quite a you know to go yeah. by in, in what feels like two minutes yeah right. the third film we put a lot of time and energy into and um this is when we knew uh so high rise three run to peril we knew that uh, we were onto something yeah. and and we knew that the second film we wanted to step it up we knew that we can create some beautiful action shots and uh, and we started bringing back the Bullieri brought back Valentina Bullieri mm-hmm. uh, who's then passing the torch on to her her brother uh, which is going to lead into the next two films and um and what was the watch heists watches yeah, watch. yeah, watches. yeah watches so we we're going after the uh, paddock Tiffany watch which is three million dollars. Yeah, and we used a bunch of Pagani design watches, which, fucking, in my opinion, they're better than the real thing. Yeah, <laughs> <They're> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful watch. That's why it probably is still owns selling his paddock for five million. <laughs> Just because you can wear a fucking nice watch for a hundred bucks now. There's good yeah. watches out there. I got mine in Zoomies. <laughs> Those are good. Zoomies Zoomies that's, a, that's a Nixon's, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Nixon's great. Yeah. You know, they're great. It's all right, except for the the one minute hand fell off. But, oh, <laughs> I'm just saying, you don't what? notice that. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it fell off down here. It's uh, right there. This clearly a a mall oh, skate shop oh, oh. watch. <laughs> but they look good with my oversized shoes I bought them with originally. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> we need to get him a watch. Yeah. We'll get you. We'll get you a watch. What kind of watches? Done. Do you like black watches? I I, I do actually. I like a black um a uh, 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 black steel. Okay. Kay. For some reason, that's always been my highlight. We'll get him there a fucking go. Daytona, the black on black Daytona. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, he'd oh, like nice. that. Ooh. Oh, you'd like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm open to. All right. That's your, that's your yeah. gift for this next movie. Yay. Done. Cool. There you go. Uh, so then uh, the fourth movie. That's when we hired uh, Joseph Arsganiscali from The yep. Sopranos. We knew that we needed a lead. We wanted <clears throat> to bring the Vernici. See, in all three movies, we had uh, Frank Verney or Franco Bellavia playing the Vernici underboss, but we right. never mentioned who Mr. Vernici was. Hmm. And Joey Vernici, we had to find somebody who could really play that role. We were looking at Gary Busey. Uh, oh. We were looking at Tom Arnold. We were looking at uh, which Baldwin? Daniel Baldwin? Yeah, Daniel Baldwin. Daniel Baldwin. We reached out to a couple of other Sopranos. And um, long story short. Story was calling us. Well, a couple After. of people said no. And then we did, uh, we, we put a feeler out there and Joey literally called us. Uh, Joseph Organis called, literally called us and said, hey, why the fuck aren't you casting us in a movie? And we're like, well, do you want it? And he goes, I want it. And I said, okay, well, then let's do it. Yeah. And uh, and you know, who, who wouldn't fucking take that? Yeah. yeah. So so we got, uh, that. that's our boss where we were talking about uh, flying out to Atlantic City next year to shoot the fifth one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, part four is peril to prosperity. Part five is prosperity to power. Hmm. And um, I, I don't want to say too much on what's going to happen in the next film, but uh, the storyline, this film is definitely leading to what's going to happen in the next film. Yeah. It's I got, like it. We're excited. Yeah. And we have a lot of stuff for you too coming up. 
Yeah, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Well, I mean, we've we, yeah. well in the series you got your now, own show now. Yeah, so right? you've got your own. Yeah, so in in the series now, uh, Kings of Doom, we're bringing in Jim Anderson, and Jim Anderson is a very seasoned actor. Twenty twenty five years, has been in mm-hmm. tons of stuff. He was uh, in Deadwood. Uh, he's in the new Leonardo DiCaprio Sean Penn movie. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah. he's in the new Brian Austin Green film. And he's in a couple of other things that he's that's yeah. that's pretty big, but he brought me on. We were doing a project with uh, oh gosh, what was his name? Um, David Sandoval Jr. David Sandoval Jr. He was working uh, with Tara Reid on the blood blood let's see blood power and loyalty or something along those lines. We were doing a a movie a mobster movie as well. And uh, they're still filming. As far as I know, it's still in production. It's a, it's a large uh-huh. budget film. I think it's a $3 million film. But I Ooh. played a, a biker. I was uh, uh, doing motorcycle stunts in that film. But that's cool. where I met That's where I met Jim. And um, we're bringing him on to play your father, uh, who's then going to be passing <laughs> the torch. Your father. Yeah. Uh, who's going to be passing the torch on uh, to you in the motorcycle gang. Just a side note. Do you believe in that people could go back and alter the past? Do you, do you yeah, remember? The, okay, in Star Wars, do you oh. remember them saying, Luke, I'm your father? Oh, the Mandela effect ish. Yeah. You know, I definitely follow all the Mandela effect, but that's one of those things that, like, I think it was, Luke, I'm your father. Yeah. It was that's just what like I that. remember. Yeah, that's Luke, I, I am your father. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Now it says, no, I'm your father. They're just doing that to reality to people to, like, just explode their own head when it's really like, ah, oh, it's just a joke. No. There was a like, few other I don't things know. like that. Oh, no, I, read, I was reading Mandela Effects last it's... night. The fucking Fruit of the Loom, the fucking uh, yeah. the Stop, movie. Stop CERN. Stop CERN. And what, the internet, right? Isn't the internet made from CERN or DARPA? One of them are doing it with the time continual something. I don't know, but what was the what was the movie, the, the Tom Cruise movie with them sliding across the thing with the sunglasses? Oh, yeah, um, Risky Business. Risky R- Business with the fucking sunglasses. What? And now there's no sunglasses? Yeah, no that's way. Another one. Yeah, no way. The, everyone knew that it was the yes. underwear and the sunglasses. No, there's and no he had sunglasses. sunglasses. There's no, no way. sunglasses. But yeah. we all know that he did. But now there isn't. And then what about the fucking the, the what about the uh, the Sinbad movie? Oh, yeah. that one never existed. The one the, where Shazam. The, yeah, Shazam. That existed. The fuck yeah, that existed. It was our whole life. I seen that shit. He is lying. It's not he's lying. It's fucking doesn't exist, it. Well, bro. Didn't, didn't they ask him and he said like, oh, no, I didn't make it. And yeah, it's like it's everyone's like, no, no, we've seen that. Yeah, I've seen the fucking movie cover, dude. I've yeah. seen the movie. <laughs> that was like around the I'm same the time guy. as Space Jam and all that yeah. stuff came yeah. out in movie theater. You know what I mean? I was. Yeah. He said he never did it. And apparently it doesn't exist. And it's not on IMDb. There's no fucking record of it anywhere. That's what I'm saying. It's the weirdest They're shit. changing shit, dude. Hmm. Anyway, I don't know. that was a side that's, note. That's a side note. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just it is, it's getting to know us on a different level of how we think. Right? Well, that's a, uh, uh, Steve's a flat earther. Oh, I'm. Oh, you know, all I'm saying you is, you could prove me wrong. Otherwise, <laughs> but you know, everything of it's rockets exploding in the firmament and all that stuff. It just brings a whole crazy conspiracy stuff to like. <laughs> Computer generated images, right? And it's all that. Like I, I don't know. All I'm saying is NASA stands for not another space agency. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. we do well on our talking no. shit. Yeah. Actually, we, well, we should well, do one. We'll and do one. and <laughs> I used I used to totally make fun of anyone that believed that and all that. Just a couple years ago, I was like this fucking asshole, and just <laughs> I, I'd troll them and all that too. And then yeah. like I don't know. It, Shit keeps coming true. Yeah, but I drank and researched it, well, and then I was like, no way, I need to drink more. Oh, yeah, forget it. I could tell you're passionate about it because you came alive after we mentioned the conspiracy it's, theories. Oh, we should do a talking crazy. shit conspiracy We need to do, do that. Yeah, we need to do that. But so what else is going on with this movie? So we're going to Monterey. we got the golf tournament. We've got the Celebrity Golf Tournament in Tahoe. Yeah. You're going to be throwing a body into the into the lake. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, yeah. On the sailboat. <laughs> that's going to be a good one. Um, that's going to be tough to shoot. We're going to have to figure out how to shoot that. Um and it's then part of uh, our big budget. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then uh and then we've got Monterey coming up. Monterey Car Week. I mean, we're gonna have fucking twenty million dollars in cars in this next movie. Yeah. That's the thing. The other thing, when you watch when you watch a fast movies or any of these car movies, they're using fake fucking cars, dude. They're not using real fucking Koenig Zigs and Bugattis and shit. We're using the real fucking cars in our films. Oh yeah. 
It's it's crazy. We're using the real fucking the rims crazy. on the Koenigsegg is 180 grand just for the fucking wheels. Tires. Yeah, yeah, twenty thousand dollars for fucking tires on a Bugatti. <laughs> 20 grand. What the fuck? It's more than my heart. Brake job is like 57 grand. Yeah, 50 grand. $400,000 every three years to maintain a Bugatti. $400,000 every three years. <laughs> so, but we're using these fucking cars in this film. This, 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 uh, the, the fourth installment, we're using the real fucking cars for this thing. In fact, we're going out to the Ferrari race in September. That's going to be crazy. Yeah. We're going to be in the pits at the Ferrari races shooting scenes for this movie in the pits. Ooh, I'm enthused. Yeah. yeah. So, no, it is, this is going to be fucking on another level, dude. For an indie film? What if Fear met us there, walking through the pits? We could. Right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hmm. absolutely. See? Coming up with new scenes all the time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. And then we got the big bridge scene where the two cartels are going to be coming together. They're going to be shooting that one here in the 30th. Right? Is so that can... the shootout? No, we haven't. We haven't even planned the shootout yet. We haven't figured out how we want to do that yet. We That's still got, down the road. Yeah, we got, we got to get this. five months, four months, five months for that. I have like an M one thousand. We could just throw that there, and then I can. Get well, a, we have. Uh, there you go. We yeah. have all the CGI shit now. No, we have all the CGI shit now to do to make it look like there's a real firefight. We can really do all that shit now. So, but we did. Which we need to. What we need is the location where we can actually have the the guns out and so forth. We just need to figure out where we're going to actually do. Suns the out, guns out. Oh, 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 wait, what? <laughs> Show it off. Show it off. Oh my god, suns out, guns out. So, hold on. Dude, hold right on. now, I can't even hold imagine. On. Hold on. Like, hold on. It's always sunny in Doucheville. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, I'm going golfing. That was that was See, uh, that was pretty epic, actually. <laughs> that was oh funny. shit! Now I'm um, like... So, in terms of uh, the audience that wants to watch the films, you can watch them all right now on YouTube, at least until the distributors come on board. Um, we've submitted everything over to Prime. We're just waiting to hear back. Um, it's been six weeks. We're still waiting. Uh, we sent everything over to a distributor. That's uh, basically what they would do is they send it to Tubi and, and Hulu, Vudu, all these other platforms, <laughs> and um, and we'll see what happens. So we're waiting to to hit mainstream. Um, so, but right now you can watch them on IMDb and YouTube. Get do it now before they're gone. Yeah, we'll do it now before you're going to be paying for it. Yeah. yeah, I mean because once the distributors come on board, then. Then we're getting a paycheck. So we're, I mean, we're still, we're still, Ching. we're still out of our own pockets. Indie film, you know, yep. getting favors. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's amazing because last time I was doing filming on camera, it was like twenty years ago when I was pushing a guy in a shopping cart into a tree, <laughs> like Tom Green <laughs> stuff. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, I'm saying like for real, me and my friends, like we were jackass. doing all that stuff that we shouldn't have done. <laughs> right, right. And uh, yeah, that was about last that. time I was filming. Yeah, and now we're and now we're making fucking movies. Yeah. So let's keep going. Keep going. It's really Stay weird tuned. to be in this in this atmosphere, though. And, you know, as, mm -hmm. as film quote unquote filmmakers, when you go to Google yeah. and type in John Robert Quinn now on Google, it literally says filmmaker. When you type in Matt Literal, it literally says director producer. That's it's fucking crazy, right? right? You're gonna yours will say actor. Yeah, yeah yours yours is gonna be <laughs> popping up here. No, it's it's fucking Seriously. awesome, dude. Oh, yeah, man. it's just a matter of time. Like now you're a legit actor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know legit, but I'm an actor. <laughs> you are I'm an actor. I'm an actor. Acting you're so crazy. Well, it's gonna be really fucked up in the in in the next not this next movie, but the movie after that. Mm -hmm. He's gonna yeah. be a woman. What? So <laughs> What the? That is a sick joke. All right. I mean, did, you ever see, did you see Sons of Anarchy when Walter Goggins played the fucking the oh, transvestite yeah, the, with the tits? No, I didn't. You never he a saw stripper? this. No, she, he was a transvestite with her uh, a transsexual or some shit. Holy crap! Hold on, Walter. You know who Walter Goggins is? Yeah, he's the, the actor, guy, the, top, the guy with the beard. Oh, they oh, all got God, beards dude. on that show. I know. <laughs> that was a safe bet. <laughs> Look at this right? shit. That I scruffy guy. That, chance. that scruffy guy on a motorcycle. No, it was like his right hand man, right? This is fucking Walter Goggins, dude. Oh, wow, that's scary. Hold what up. the hell? Walter Goggins. Uh, oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Look at those <laughs> jawline and those big boobs. He was in a, What was that other show? Oh, my God. That's the sexiest Adam's long, apple ever. Long shot. Long shot. Long. Long something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, -o. hey, -o. oh my wow. 
god, him. man. Huh? I'm gonna get you that Bangkok Holy surprise. <laughs> oh my god. Look at how big his goddamn <laughs> forehead is. God. Jesus Dude, fucking Christ. Christ. That's a uh, high forehead. Dude. What a funny looking guy. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, he's doing it, you know what I mean? He's doing it, but he's just a... Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Shit. Crowder. He's Crowder. Crowder. You know, that's what? horrible to see him in a woman. Like, I th I don't know how yeah, I'm like, going to... I don't know why he did that. that when did they do that? God. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, fucking... V oh. Well, let's not talk about Vito. No, we're, <laughs> no, we're talking about our movie. So... No, um, <laughs> so you're not gonna play. You're not gonna play a woman for us. You know, I, I, no. I just don't know. I, I hey, well, goes against my it, mayoral it, belief system. No, and... seriously, if Matt said, if Matt told me that I was playing a woman in a movie, I'd be like, you know what, you can go fuck yourself, bro. <laughs> no, that ain't happening, dude. Oh my god, uh, take off my my one of my booby bags and throw it at him. <laughs> one of my, oh yeah, you expect me to wear this, huh? Huh? And just assume I'm gonna do that. <laughs> a booby bag. No, oh, that ain't happening. <laughs> All right, I want to play with your booby bags. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this is this is juvenile too, as it gets. Too much. This is too much. Hey, thank you guys so much for for listening and much. watching. Thank you all so much. 